it's Rachel. So last night, Taylor Swift dropped the third music video for Midnight's, which was Lavender Haze, and I truly cannot stop thinking about this music video, not even for a second, rather than a millisecond. Like, this music video is quite literally all I can think about. So I thought, I just want to sit down, talk to my fellow Swifties about it, you know, talk about what we loved about it, what we're thinking, what we can't get out of our brains, were there any Easter eggs that we saw, were there any little hints to other songs on Midnight's that I caught on to. We're just going to talk about it all. I have it in my notes in my phone. I wrote some notes down. And I, I, first of all, before I even start spilling my, what I found in the music video, I just want to say that Taylor Swift is... A mastermind to quote herself I literally like she is she's track 13 of her 10th album okay like she she's just so it's so smart I was telling my mom earlier like sometimes watching Taylor music videos like I try and think about it like if I wasn't a fan would I get it and the questions probably or the answer is probably no to that question because they're like, why are there koi fish? But Taylor is always like, there's always a deeper meaning with Taylor. Like, it's not just like, oh, like, here's some koi fish. There's always a deeper meaning to those things that she puts in her music videos and the storylines. And her, her brain is just so big that, like, it, sometimes it takes, like, a couple watches to, like, fully digest it. And even, like, after a couple times, sometimes I'm still, like, finding new things. And so it's very interesting and I love that she makes them so in depth and so thought out like obviously the Lavender Haze music video is very big on like visuals. I think that's a big part of the music video. However, I think too that there is such depth to it and I definitely want to get into that in this video. So just buckle up, get your little snack, get your water, stay hydrated kids, whatever you want and we're going to sit and talk about it. So obviously Taylor looks stunning like obviously oh my god when I tell you my jaw was like like yes Miss Queen we love to see it you look so good okay so my first note in my phone is I was not shocked to see Taylor's bare feet within 0.2 seconds of the music video starting <laughs> That was my first thought. Like, when I was sitting in my bed, I turned off all, in, all my lights. I had just gotten off the phone with my group for Glendale. Natalie, Alex, and I, and Emma were on the phone. And we were just talking about, like, our outfits and, like, how excited we were. And then we all hung up about ten minutes before midnight because we wanted to, like, enjoy it. I just turned out all my lights. And then I was watching it, and I'm like, oh, my God, like, here it comes. Like, we've been anticipating... In like anticipating this video so much and so I was like oh here we go and then of course Taylor's bare feet were shown and I was like I literally think I said out loud I was like oh that's not shocking like one thing about Taylor Swift is she's gonna show her feet for free <laughs> it's like a running joke in the fandom because like she always she always has the toes out. I'm like, oh my god, Miss Girl. Emma texted me afterwards. She's like, oh my god, well, she was wearing socks when she was sitting at the end of the bed, so that's that's something. And I was like, oh my gosh. But it was just funny. That was like my very first thought of the music video. However, some fans have pointed out that maybe she did like a zoom in on her feet because um number one, it was like panning up her, you know, so when she when the song started staring at the ceiling, you know, it, it was her face. Um, so it was very, very good filming. However, people have caught on to the fact that she was wearing blue nail polish and um, in her debut album, in our song, she was actually painting her nails blue. I'll insert a picture here. And so some people are like, maybe that's intentional. Maybe it wasn't. You know, sometimes I think Easter eggs like however clever I don't think sometimes Taylor like makes them Easter eggs intentionally but then people turn them into Easter eggs I think sometimes but like that was a good pickup that was a very very slick pickup and you know I'm very foolish because I could be like I don't think Taylor made to like made sought out whatever to make this an Easter egg however 
months later we find out it was actually an easter egg so like never underestimate her and she's trained us to like look for those things so somebody pointed out that and so i was like hmm that is interesting um so then there was the scene also of taylor laying in the bed of flowers and she did the same thing in the our song music video which i actually right here i just caught it my eye caught it I actually have one of the flowers from the Our Song music video a long time ago when you purchase something on Taylor's store it had to be like a certain amount they'd send you one for free and it was like a whole bed of like roses and I guess we just found them in the warehouse one time so I do have one and um yeah and it sits in my little stand up here but it's so interesting to see people make those ties and then when somebody pointed that out i honestly don't remember if you know who it was please tag the at down below um other if i find it again i will definitely post a picture here um but i was like oh that is true that that is true and with taylor like re-recording and revisiting all her music it really wouldn't surprise me if she was re-watching some of that old stuff and seeing what she could just like pop in a music video now okay so then i caught on immediately he was sunshine i was midnight rain and then so taylor is at the foot of the bed she has a cloud over her head like she's obviously up in the middle of the night and her partner is sound asleep and i think that that was pretty significant because you know she's in the middle of the night she's like oh my god like you know i i'm thinking about this this and this like with all the what ifs like she you know all these things and he's peacefully asleep so i think that that really stood out for me i did catch on to a lot of different like references to different songs on midnights and another one that i caught on to very quickly was karma is the guy on the screen coming straight home to me so her love interest in the music video um he actually was a meteorologist when Taylor saw him on the screen. It, he was the meteorologist. And then later on, of course, and in the beginning, we find out that they are together. And so, yeah, he's on the screen doing his meteorology. Slay, the weather geek in me, was freaking out that that was included. And she was watching him. And then if you notice, she peers open the TV and there's the koi fish. And Taylor said in the Lover music video when she was doing like the behind the scenes, there was a piece where she said that being in her life felt like a fishbowl. If somebody was to join her life, it was going to feel like jumping into a fishbowl with her because everybody is looking at her, everybody's looking in on her life, so she feels like she's in this fishbowl. So when she pulls open the TV screen, to the normal person, somebody would go, what in the actual is Taylor Swift doing? How, what, what is this? But to me, I immediately was like, oh my God. Like, she's saying like, you know, she's tearing away that layer of him being in the public eye as her boyfriend is. And as she is, she's tearing it away and she sees this peaceful tranquility of koi fish. Now, they come back later on. But also I wanted to mention there was vinyls in the floor in the beginning. One said mastermind. And we found out last night that Taylor said <laughs> that it looks like there's more music videos coming. And so maybe that's the next music video. I don't know. I, I, I don't know. That would... So there's a lyric in Mastermind that says, Once upon a time, the planet and the fates and all the stars aligned. You and I ended up in the room at the same time. So... On that, when it says Mastermind, there's a Sagittarius and a Pisces constellation. And that is a wink to her relationship with her boyfriend. Taylor is a Sagittarius and Joe Alwyn is a Pisces. And I think that it's cute how Taylor makes little tiny references to their relationship. Like, she slips it in there so the fans know. But, like, not enough for, like, 
the media to like dive into it too much you know what I mean like unless like everybody starts talking about it of course then the media would catch on to it but like they're not gonna catch on to a vinyl on the back floor like you know it'll be us that catches that first and I know that's like what she wants and I think it's cute how she makes a little wink and a nod to her relationship without making it too you know magnified so that reminded me of when Taylor put the 89 and the 91 on the wall next to each other in the ready for it music video because Taylor was born in 1989 <laughs> and Joe Alwyn was born in 1991 so that was her like her little nod in the ready for it music video so that just made me think of like that situation but it was really cute to me okay so I have literally let's talk about the koi fish this was the biggest nod to any other album in this music video some Easter eggs are obvious some we have to dive in a little deeper. Now, Taylor really could have used a goldfish. She could have used a beta fish. Whatever she, what kind of fish she wanted, Taylor Swift, Taylor Swift can use in her music video. However, she used koi fish. Now, the Speak Now World Tour. Let's talk about her for a minute. Taylor had on the B stage when she went to like the light up tree. She used a koi fish guitar. So many are speculating maybe that's her like her little wink that night that 1989 is next. Yes, Rachel, that makes sense. I was looking at my viewfinder, I saw this. That speak now is next. And if you guys remember the bejeweled music video, she hit the three in the elevator and it was purple. And so a lot of people are speculating that, okay, like that was like her subtle yeah speak now is next for the re-recordings so um i i really hope like i i'm excited for all of them i shouldn't say like oh i like, really hope like she can announce any of them tomorrow and i'd be screaming my lungs out because as i was telling who was i talking to this about my mom i was telling my mom I was like it's so sad that like taylor has to like re-record all her music but at the same time like it's so fun as a fan like i have loved taylor since I was eight years old and I'm 23 now so getting to like relive these eras like as Taylor re-records them is really fun and like creating new memories and all that so um I'm I'm very excited for all of them is what I'm saying here so okay so then I did a little bit of a deeper dive so the symbol for Pisces is a fish and koi fish are known for swimming against the current. Now that says something to me. And you know, to any other person, somebody might say, okay, you're reading into this too much, but <sighs> not with Taylor Swift. Like if you're going against the current, so say, you know, people are and the song is like trying to protect and she just wants to stay in that you know, healthy and happy relationship, no matter what people are saying, like, you can keep it to yourselves because I'm happy and, like, I'm keeping this mine. And no matter what has been thrown at them, all the rumors that they've faced, all that, they've stayed together for, it'll be seven freaking years in September that they've been together. That's, that's wild to me. But, you know, they're swimming against it. They're dancing with their hands tied. They're like, you know what? no matter what is thrown at us all the earthquakes and the and the disasters that we have to weave in and out of you know in our relationship we are solid and we are us and we are protective of us and we protect our peace we protect what's ours we keep it private for a reason and so i think that that is what the koi fish overall represent in this music video even more than like winking to any other album um, yeah, and life and relationships can be hard, but if the love is there and it's something you want to hold on to, you keep making it want to work. So, I did already touch on this, but I did write this down. So, in the Lover music video, there was a scene where Taylor was swimming in the fishbowl, um, with her love interest, and this was a nod to her life being watched, and if someone wanted to jump in that world, they'd have to be under the same surveillance. In Lavender Haze at the end, she's on a cloud with fish swimming around her, 
which I think is her finding her peace and tranquility and having privacy in her relationship now. So that's what I got out of the music video. Taylor in that purple water. Oh my God. Miss ma'am, you are literally the most gorgeous person I've ever seen. Um, but yeah, that's what I took away from the music video, you guys. I had, I had a lot of fun like writing notes down and this music video was like so anticipated. We knew it was coming because when Taylor said that she was doing like different music videos and stuff for Midnight's, these were some of the clips and we we're like, as soon as we heard the album, we we're like, oh my God, that's, that's definitely for like Lavender Haze. So we've been anticipating this for quite a while. So I'm so happy that we finally have it to watch over and over again insistently. And you know, I, I love it so much and I love you guys and thank you guys so much for watching. I just felt like sitting down and making this and chatting with you guys honestly. And tell me what you guys got out of the music video. Tell me if you found any like little hints or clues to any other songs on Midnight's maybe. I'm sure I, I'm sure I'm missing some. Um, trying to think. I think I pretty well covered it. Um, if I think of anything else, I'll like comment it down below or something like that. But I love you guys so much. Thank you guys so much for watching. And definitely if you haven't, go watch the Lavender Haves music video. I love you guys so much. I hope this video entertained you in some way. And I sincerely hope I see you. Yes, see you in the next one. Bye guys.